have a fascinating career background. Can you tell us a little bit about your career journey and what you think has made you so successful in that journey? Well, um, it's probably a little early to call whether I'm so successful in my journey, but um, but absolutely. I, uh, I, you know, started pretty traditionally out of college and um, business school, working in the finance sector. Uh, worked for Merrill Lynch for actually 13 years. Um, you know, covered a lot of big companies and big sector coverage. And somewhere along the line, I, um, you know, it's better to be lucky than good very often. Um, I fell into covering some highly entrepreneurial companies um, started by started and run by founders who had um, found a great idea and, and been able to capitalize on it and, and ended up taking a number of those founders and their companies public and I realized at the time I was I'm the child of an entrepreneur actually not an entrepreneur many times over my dad and um, and I realized that I was completely uh, energized by um, you know being around entrepreneurs and and I uh, love companies of all sorts and particularly growth companies and so I, I realized at that point that um, that I was far more that I was a lot more interested in sort of focusing on um, people who were creating things and um, rather than focusing on the bigger companies. So that really led me into, you know, ultimately led me into the education space. I, um, I began to focus broadly um, on people doing innovation in various technologies, but clearly education innovation resonated for me. Um, I think again, again, I think I can give my parents some credit for that. They've been very um, active, not in the professional, but in the civic side of education. And um, uh, I began working um, with a partner, Michael Moe, who is based in Silicon Valley, um, who joined me at Merrill Lynch um, in 2000, something, I'll, I'll forget the exact year, but anyway, <laughs> who had done a lot of seminal research, Wall Street research, really around the education sector and really had, had um, made a big thesis that education would become, you know, one of the next big investment categories back in the, he made, he proposed that thesis back in the, in the 1990s, actually, uh, he, he joined Merrill Lynch in the late 1990s, um, and uh, and it became clear to me that um, as I worked more and more in the in the entrepreneur space with education entrepreneurs, that the impact that those entrepreneurs could have on learning outcomes and on learners and on providing greater access for more people to um, the future uh, was something that really excited me. So um, I really have. <laughs> With every step of my career, I've concentrated more um, on that 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 side of the business. Ultimately, um, we started a company called Think Equity Partners. Um, sold that business in 2007. Uh, left to start GSV in 2008. And when I started GSV, um, my part of it is the advisory business, I decided that, that um, in my old age, I really wanted to hunker down and focus on the thing that would made me most passionate. So we, so we focused solely on working with education um, innovators, uh, heavy bias towards technology, but not always technology, um, but a lot of technology, and working with those, those um, entrepreneurs around raising capital uh, and doing strategic advisory work. So that is, um, that's kind of what has led me to where I am today. That, that ultimately led me to making um, you know, quite a number of, of angel investments in the education technology sector. Um, which is has been another great um, sort of turn in my career, you know, in terms of just being incredibly satisfying and um, you know nothing more fun than watching a um, successful entrepreneur uh, drive a big idea. Mm -hmm.